Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Natalie the Dawn. I remain your host, Chad of Fury333, and this next match is going to be a 3v3, because it was by request, as I mentioned before, as a thing you can do. I also mentioned before that 3v3 is the biggest I'll do, and it's also one of those things that's a bit more at my discretion than 1v1. 1v1 I'm willing to just do. 3v3 is a bit more... Let me actually judge that. Anyway, so we have Bellamorte, Jimmy, and Vist er, Jummy and Vistrichium on the Northwest team, with Southeast being Lamadeus, Riley, and Nemor. So Lamadeus and Vistrichium are likely the main leaders of the team, the ones that are going to be the ones to watch, because they are the strongest player on each team. Although I think Nemor might actually be a fairly strong 2v2 player as well. They're going to air, though. So Nemo's going for the air. We have no air coming out from the northwest side, and Vistrichium does have the potential to make flails pretty quickly. At this point, northwest, we have Jummy on the Raiders, and Bellamorte just going for very quick Banisher, possibly very quick Banisher Reaper, though it looks like just Banisher right now. And southeast appears to want to go for a quick comm kill, if possible. I already have two Ravens up there, likely to get a couple more. I believe it's now five Ravens to kill most commanders, just because you do have... Actually, it's more than that now, isn't it? You feel 800 damage each, right? Yeah, 800 damage each. So four would actually still be enough for a lot of commanders. Like, most engineer commanders and that sort of thing would still be fine with four. However, it looks like we have actually all level one commanders. Yeah, this could work. This could actually work. It has been scouted out, though. Looks like Jummy is well aware this is a thing that could happen. So, Nemor has been revealed. Are we going to see any anti-air coming out from there? Yes, there's the flail. That makes sense. That would be Vistrichium's job. Although, a gremlin set is also coming out for Jummy. So, we are going to see, basically, no easy way for these ravens to do any work. They might be able to kill off one of the commanders. But it's worth noting that the way storage works in teams, of course, is that it's shared. So, if one commander dies, well, there's still enough storage to go around. So I don't expect there to be a huge amount of damage dealt, even if a commander does go down. It'll be bad, but it won't be the worst thing in the world. As it is, though, we already have... Well, we have Vestrichium trying to hold the line a little bit, but the Scalpel, that was a re really nice choice coming out from Lamadeus. There's no reason to go for Mace right now. So as it is, Southeast still kind of falling behind there. The Banisher's coming in here, that... That will help get rid of some stuff here, and Briley losing a lot of what they've built up so far. The Banisher won't be able to kill the commander, but it will be able to at least cause some real grief coming out here. And indeed, the Gremlins do... Well, they sort of stop the Ravens. The Ravens still damage something. Oh, the Ravens did go after Bellamortis commander. Okay, so that was a successful assault. There are, however, only three, and there needed to be four. I don't think Nemor is aware of the change. Because three used to be enough, and against a recon commander, it barely is. But now with the commander health buff from the last major patch, the commanders are just a little bit too tough for three ravens to do it. Four ravens are fine. Four ravens will do the job. Three ravens is not enough, and Bellamorte is probably going to be... Yeah, there's the hacksaw. There's them trying to get away from there. They also have a bit of regeneration, but they might not get 800 HP in time. The Hacksaw is really their only hope right now, and there it is! There's Bellamortis' commander down! So Northwest already losing a commander, but they are ahead militarily, or at least ahead territorially. Possibly ahead militarily. Definitely ahead economically. And that Air Force is a lot of money that is not going to be super useful now that they've killed a commander, and the rest of the Northwest team is building up all the anti-air they need. Right now, it looks like Bellamorte just setting up some welders, just getting themselves set up again, getting their storage going. Although, I think this... Oh, no, the storage isn't shared. Sorry, my mistake. The storage isn't shared. It's whatever's excess is passed to the team. So the storage is effectively shared. You just don't personally get that excess in storage. You get Your teammates get your excess in their storage. So there is still a reason to build a storage for Bellamorte by losing their commander. At any rate... Northwest is still holding strong, even with one commander short. They still do have a strong assault force coming in here, and there isn't a whole lot. There's some raiders coming in, I mean, some daggers that are being a bit of a problem, but as long as that mace can get in, as long as the scalpel doesn't deal too much damage, I mean, the reaper can tank most of it, so who cares? There's not going to be a whole lot of threat. Hmm. Surprisingly, though, Vistrichium not building anything right now. They're focused apparently a bit more... Well, they have the penetrator, but a 
don't know what they're focused on apart from that. They're apparently just building up further forward. Getting hacksaws and setting up a decently strong anti-air presence further along in the map. In the very least, oh, jummy, jump your commander. There we go. Oh, no, never mind. I didn't realize you could do that, but I guess you can. Jummy loses their commander as well. So that's two Northwest commanders down. And Northwest still has a medal advantage, partly due to reclaim. But bear in mind, both commanders died in the Northwest territory. Well, most of them. The one over here quite didn't die there. But yeah, that was... That was kind of painful. More annoying than anything. Ooh. And while the mace goes down, everything else is still alive. And still these bombers... This raven's still alive. It's going to take a while for them to repair, but... Sheesh, they're still going strong. That being said, though, even with two commanders down the northwest side, is still ahead of the southeast side economically. And those were kind of big losses, but even that's not been enough to hold them back. However, more folks on anti-air could do the trick, though. That could force northwest away from any forward attacks, and that might be the thing to do to actually get southeast to have the advantage they need. I mean, Lamadeus is pushing pretty nicely far forward, or far north, rather. And while there is anti-air positioned all around, that's about it. There actually isn't any real solid ground force. With all the focus on anti-air, a strong switch to ground, which is apparently what's happening. We see the warrior, we see the scalpels to some extent. So we could see that developing into something. That could be the trick. And actually, already there's six. there are six ravens, so it's worth keeping the anti-air. At this point, Northwest is wise to maintain what they have, but at the same time... Well, they don't have his energy, actually. That's a... Ooh, that's a major problem. They're 12 energy short on account of losing their commanders, and that might be the big difference maker right now. Seriously, though, build energy. Like, that's... I'm a bit surprised no one is, because that's really necessary. Like, I get... I get the value of anti-air, and I would say if you're gonna build energy, build a bunch of solar plants. Don't build a fusion. That is the exact wrong thing to build. You will get hit by ravens. At this point, though, it looks like... Oh, well, it looks like they're... Okay, red team just scouting out some stuff. Trying to figure out what they can actually do, but... Oh, I see. You know, Lamadea is just telling Bradley to get up the standard mid-game cloaky army. Probably not a bad idea. At this point, with, with, with Vistrician being the only available commander for the northwest side. It's becoming a bit of a problem. And Vistrishim already has a backup storage just in case their commander dies. Which is possible. Although at this point... Oh, never mind. No, it's not just possible. They're, their commander's dead. That's it. Commander's done. And that being said, though, they still had storage. But now no commanders exist. Quite a few ravens died in the process, but no commanders for the northwest side anymore. That's it. They're done. Still, though, the northwest side is in a strong position regardless. It's just that Lamadea is now pushing forward. Now that all the commanders are dead, southeast is making their big push, and northwest, they don't actually have a huge army to deal with this stuff. They have some rapiers, they have some scalpels, they have a bit of anti-air, and some nice halberds. And please tell me they're on hold fire. They are on hold fire. Good. They're only attacking when they have to. But I don't know if this is going to matter. I think just the, lo the loss of all three commanders, the loss of the economy that comes with that, and the fact that all this attention has had to be split between anti-ground and anti-air means that there isn't a whole lot that Northwest has to actually fight a concerted ground push. And that's what Southeast plan has been this entire time. Like, get them scared, get Northwest scared, get them making anti-air, get them not thinking about ground, and then rush in with ground after killing all the commanders. Especially now that anti-air is mostly gone. I mean, the flails are gone, there's some gremlins left, there's some ra razors left. There's a chainsaw left in the main base. But, yeah, there's not much. And Nemor with Thunderbird, just to close this out, giving a lot more room for Bradley to maneuver. And Bradley's basically taking the Southwest entirely. So this is working beautifully for the Southeast team. Sorry, yeah, the Southeast team is... Yeah, that's what I meant to say. And all the reclaim coming in there. Northwest, at this point, I'd like to see them set up... Possibly a switch? I don't see anything to switch to. The chainsaw is doing its job. Actually, what I'd really like to see them do is just set up a, a, 
I don't know, I guess a bunch of Rockos, really. Just focus more on ground. Just try to deal with the ground force coming in, because the ground force coming in is the main problem. Air is an issue, yes. The ground force is the biggest issue, though. That's the one that's killing them. Right, there needs to be a concerted counter push, and that looks like that's what's happening over to the northeast. That needs to turn into... I'd like to see that turn into more expansion, and definitely more reclaim. Actually, this commander here has been left unreclaimed this entire time, as has the commander up here. What the heck? Why is this commander unreclaimed? Northwest needs the money. I'm not sure what's going on there. At any rate, that's Geo Plant down. So, one Geo Plant about to go down. No fusion plants, though, which, like I said, wise option, but Geo Plant, still similar problem. That being said, the counter push in the Northwest, this is kind of the last ditch effort. This is the one thing that might win the game for the Northwest side. Oh, that, that Cobra is going, or Copperhead rather, is going way too close. It's going to just get itself killed by Lotus, and there we see it just die right now. Not able to do anything. It was not focused. Sadly, Belamonte was not putting enough attention to what the micro they needed to do. Because that Copperhead did not need to die. Same with these Reapers. They're starting to get way too aggressive. I think this... This is the thing. you got to be careful about this stuff. I don't know what Belamorte... Yeah. As Vistrushin was pointing out there to Bellamorte, like, focus on your micro there. It's like, not happening. I mean, we're seeing Jummy come in. The glaives are moderately well separated, so they might not die. Hard to say. Ooh, where'd that Spectre come from? That was quite nice. Oh, wait, no. That was... Was that friendly fire? Is that seriously Briley friendly firing the... Okay. Must have friendly fired Lamadeus' penetrator, though. That was... I did not expect that. I thought maybe I didn't see anything coming out from Jummy there, but no, Jummy didn't go for any snipers at all. They just got lucky. I don't know that that's going to turn the game around, but holy crap. Oh yeah, Orphelia's pointing out that Bella Morte hasn't really been contributing a whole lot to the game. Or at least was for a small period. They were kind of economically, but yeah, they weren't throwing in a lot of military. I'm just... Why are they not... To reclaim, please! Oh, finally! Finally the welders go to reclaim. Sheesh, they do have... Yeah, seven and a half. Okay, that's... That's something, at least. Now, on top of that, into a Dante, which... At this stage in the game, with all the forces coming out from the southeast side, particularly from Lamadeus, all these scalpels, they'll probably just stuff that Dante. I don't expect the Dante to be able to do all that much. Like, between the Thunderbird, the Scalpels, and the fact that there's forces coming on all sides from the southeast, the Dante is a thing, but it's probably not going to be enough. And even then, the Halber's coming in here, and I can see what they're doing. They're not doing a terrible job, it's just not enough. Like, even if they go for it, they're going to die. It's just the reality of the situation. There's not much they can do. So unfortunately, Northwest now really feeling the pain of their commander loss. Like, the, economically speaking, at least. That's become relevant. And the Geo Plants... Not even going down yet. It's not even the target. Oh, I see. Calling an airstrike onto... The Scalpel? Really? I mean, I guess. It's something. It gets them out of the way. But yeah, otherwise... Wow, there's a lot of inattention going on there. The Sniper's not in position either... So, that's worth noting. Looks like Vestrusium is... Yeah, Vestrusium is kind of done with this right now. See how the poll goes. I expect to see... Okay, are we seeing it? I don't know. It looks like Northwest is undecided of whether, whether or not they want to resign. Vestrusium basically has nothing. Jummy has very little. Bella Morte is still in a strong position, which explains why they voted no. But Melamorte is the only one in a decently strong position. I think they're waiting for the Dante to be done. But they got a minute left. And that's not likely to happen. Northwest's economy has been completely tanked now. And it's getting worse. Like, that's the problem here, is that that ground push, there was no preparation. I don't even know if Heavy Tank was the best option in that respect. Although, really, the Banisher was doing a, a nice job. It was actually helping here. Anyway, Vestrusium has left. Which kind of sucks, but that is apparently how this is going to end. 
Let's Trishim throws in the towel. The other, the rest of the team is probably gonna try, but I don't know for how long. I mean, Jummy's doing what they can, but mechanic, in terms of base mechanics, I'm fairly certain that Vestrishim is the best player on that team by a wide margin. And there aren't enough units, there's not enough an economy, the macro play is not there either. So at this point, Northwest is basically entirely banking on one Dante, and Titan Duel's not a map where one Dante is going to win you the game. I think, yeah, oh, no, Bellamorte goes for it. They've decided there's no way they're getting that in time, so... Fair enough, that is game. That was an alright game. Oh, well, Lamadeus really macroing that out. L Lamadeus and Vistrichium right at the top for macro. Yeah, I'm kind of curious what they're talking about, but Bellamorte not really contributing, because, yeah, they didn't do much, I'll grant. In terms of stuff being built, it was mainly Lamadeus. Actually, mainly Lamadeus and Nemor that were contributing a lot to what was going on there. Like, Nemor threw them off completely, and Lamadeus was able to coordinate that ground push and just wreck them afterwards. A nice job to Lamadeus, Briley, and Nemor. Anyway, that's going to be that, so I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching, and... Have a good night, everyone.